qualified for WCG once, or twice, I think, from Croatia he is. And we do have an Orc Mirror now, as it should be the last game of today. Anima and the Great Wall are playing on, I think, Hi to Chaco's stream. And Cash is already qualified after his win against Deathwing. Death Note? Death Note, I think it is. So, Cash and Effect qualified and two more to follow. It will be an orc and it will be a human. But which orc and which human? It's Razor Man versus Corrupt and we're starting it right now. Do we have some player stats? I'm curious now. <laughs> Alright. Okay, we can at least see something here. But of course the stats don't say anything. So Here we go. Uh, we have to see if those colors are correct. Corrupt is red from Hungary, and we have Turtle Rock close position in an Orc Mirror. That is something I have rarely, rarely seen. <laughs> Best pictures ever. Oh well. Uh, yeah, a little small, but come on. Whatever. Farseer first again by Razor Man this time. And Corrupt is going Blade Master. He fought North before, Corrupt did. With a Tower Rush, with a Farseer first. And on Turtle Rock close position, I think this is not a bad choice at all. He scouted it with a Peon. Why start? <laughs> oh, he didn't see it? Ooh, he didn't see it then. Oh boy. Okay. So. This Farseer will cause a lot of problems. He has a shop here, so he has to get a little out of the map to get it. But he can harass it, like the entire time with wolves, especially since he gets clarities. But I think Corrupt is doing the one right thing and counterattack to keep the Farseer back and lower the damage against his own buildings. So he will cancel this one. Interesting, yeah, of course, on, on Troll Rock Hill, position can't go or shouldn't go for the one burrow attack with one grunt as you can creep way too much. Those wolves had to be resummoned. And so he couldn't cancel the burrow just for defense. And with that Windbok, he's buying so much time. Corrupt is playing this uh, fairly well. Well thought out. So, of course, late game, the Blade Master won't do way more damage, and especially at Orkmira, where everything is so close, then this makes a difference. But will he get to that late game, or is it a Tower Rush once again? That's gonna be the question. The Farseer can't do anything right now. I think for the Blade Master, he, he can catch up later, if he is allowed to creep a little. But even on level 1, I think, he can control the Farseer quite well. I would love to see a little attacks against the shop, just to distract. But yeah, this didn't work out as well as Razor Man wanted it to be. And I really like that adjustment of Corrupt. Going into the base, base a little bit of focus style as he did against Fly. In NSL? Was it NSL? I think so. Yeah, that was the NSL uh, quarterfinal. Where he figured him out completely and knew every single creep route and just abused it fullest, to the fullest. And if there's a tower push coming, that would be weird because there is no Wormel yet. Trying to find him creeping, but it's too late. Circlet already there, level 2 already there, critical strike already there. There's not much alternatives 
for Corrupt to go. Is there a Windwalk? Yes, there is. And of course, the damage of the Wolves against the Grunts is not that high. Ooh, he wants to go for the Farseer here without a Windwalk. Kind of risky, but the Body Block's not coming. And T2 is closing in. Is it gonna be a Fire Lord for Razor Man or not? I mean, this is so weird to see. 500 gold. This fast here won't do anything later. Or will it? I mean, the wolves will most likely be dispelled. He loses a grunt creeping. What? How can you lose a grunt at creeping? Maybe it's the nerves coming to him. Maybe it's the nerves. So, Naga or Fire Lord, as he is positioning to the tavern. Fire Lord. Okay, and again, he wants to get double beastery. He scouts it, and he can cancel them, like both. Oh, can he enter? I think he can. Uh, maybe he does have enough time for this. Trying to stutter step a bit. There we go. At least production is cut in half and only now the war mill comes in. It is Shadow Hunter versus Fire Lord. So how much damage can he do? There is oh Beastery and Lodge ready. But the shop will be killed. The good thing is the lava spawns won't split if they attack the lounge. And he needs that damage to tear down the shop. It is mass summons though and we don't see the spell yet there we go gets the first one he really has to be careful about the lava response this one is about to expire but this one is struggling a bit is it heal wave first or hex it is hex first going for the grunt and another lava spawn this one split but the kodo is out corrupt is struggling hard though everything is low the shop is gone does he have heal selves he does a lot of them actually but the piercing damage is really good against the kodo and he's just attacking, continuing to attack. No mana for a wind walk. Oh, nice block with that Kodo to get rid of the wolves. Two lava spawns gone. The third one will be gone, and then there's no mana anymore for the lava sp uh, for the fire lord. Corrupt is not supply stuck yet. This Kodo is helping so much with this aura. Right click on the fast here, trying to force a town pole, but he has the best item against the potion of greater healing. Has to use it soon though, but I don't know if he should dive in too deep without that focus. Uh, without that healing, well calculated if it was calculated. Nice hex on the uh, raider as well. So no end snare possible, but the uh, blade master is out of the equation for quite a long time. 34 versus 35. Time to lick the wounds for a bit and trying to get reinforcements here. He wants to have spirit links so bad as his opponent doesn't have them. Second beast tree only coming in now. Also no wyvern. Where's the damage? Without the Blade Master, man, he really needs it. Ooh, big damage on the Fire Lord here for some reason. From uh, the Burrow here. And he gets another Grunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corrupt is defending this well. And usually, with the Fire Lord, you really want the first push to work. Otherwise, what can you do? Windwalk. Boom! Backstep. More experience level 2 for the Shadow Hunter. And that is. Key to victory with the heal wave now. Healing has been done there as well as the clarity potion. And snare only now. That's so late. Corrupt is going up to 42, another Kodo Beast. And they pay off so well. He ate, I think, two units. So if he can get rid of mass summons. Corruption happens. He can't get the shop back up. That means he has an, only one clarity remaining. That's nice. But he loses another grunt as it seems. Not focusing it too well. And finally, 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 with Anthony, he can do something against the Kodo Beast. But there was one heal wave. That was the last one. Blade Master taking care of the lava spawn so they can split, which is quite nice. Second Kodo is coming, so the aura will be there even though this one falls. Uh, Raider will be gone too, he's losing so much HP. Spirit Link applied and you can see how good Spirit Link actually is. Level 3 on the Blade Master. He gets this Raider. 
Kodo didn't devour it perfectly, but the Blade Master cuts it to pieces and eats it, eats it himself. Level 2 and 1 on Razorman's side. 3 and 2 on Corrupt side. If he gets the time for the shop to come up, then this should be it. And especially if this finishes, then these heroes are absolutely ridiculously weak. Okay, maybe ah, level 3 will be a help. But does it really? Ring of Regen. Sells it for the Blade Master, it's nice. For Farseer, I don't know. He'll scroll way better. To have experience, gets it on the Fire Lord. So, ah, level 2. Oh, actually, gets it to the Farseer. Players' forces are under attack. <laughs> Level two lava spawns don't seem to be an option at this point. And yeah, I don't know what Brazerman wants to do against this. He's pushing with mass raiders. I don't know if he has pillage, but no, he doesn't. Wolf's level 2, so this is a lot of damage. He gets rid of the shop again. This walker there is stuck. He is supply stuck too. No TP, so he's walking back. Does he have items this time? Yeah, he'll scroll an invul. But only one of each. Another burrow down. And off we go. Yeah. This is uh, the usual orc lame style. Get in. Do damage with raiders, buy time, get out with the speed scroll. Does he want to break upkeep? He's at 48. He's saving some time. Double Kodo now. A player's force is <laughs> under attack. And all of a sudden, this game is kind of equal. I still think Razorman's late game potential is non existent. But maybe the raiders are doing it. White on their own. And again, he builds like the fifth shop in this game. Watchtower coming in. And lumber issues actually for the orc. There's only one. Okay, all the others are building something. Uh, two lumber peons remaining. Bigger heal, uh, bigger mana potion, and another speed scroll. Two speed scrolls. And scouting for an expansion or something. Mana Potion on the Shadow Hunter. Interesting that Corrupt responds with Grunts. I mean, of course, they're pretty good against Raiders, but you don't have control over them. No tier 3, no reinforced defenses. Bad creep check coming in here. This is what is it? I can't take on the item, but this should be the end for the fast here. Wow, gets the potion last second, level three. Finally, what was the item? Oh, ancient Django of endurance, very nice actually, especially for his playstyle with the mass raiders. More movement speed is always appreciated. Can the Kodos eat something? So far, it doesn't look like it. Fast here uh, is attacking the shadow hunter here. Gets the invul potion, saves him with this. Mass summons again. No dispel here. Kodos still didn't eat anything. Focuses him nevertheless. But without raiders, it's quite hard to do. New wave saves his grunt for a bit. Level 4 on the fast and I think Razorman is running away with this. A, a little too enough. confident, maybe, on the creep jack. This is another heal scroll for the creation. And the second one. It's kind of hard. One against two. There is another mana potion, though, and constant heal waves. As he has uh, half mana, that's okay. 
Late Master's close to four. This Kodo is toast. Chain Lightning rattles through. Haven't seen that in a while. Kodo's both hurt. You should definitely focus that Kodo with the Grunt inside. This one is dead for Corrupt. He does have one more though. And there's level four. There's level two cr uh, Critical Strike. And <laughs> foul. He constantly heals against that uh, Chain Lightning. I really like that. With the uh, Heal Wave. And he gets rid of that Kodo. But it's mass Kodos, kind of. 162 Critical Strike. Again, the Heal Wave directly after the Chain Lightning. He loses way too many walkers there. It's basically one Blade Master to rule them all. And that does work. This Kodo has eaten. This Kodo has eaten. This Kodo has eaten. This Kodo is not, but it's so many of Ko so many Kodos. But that is a uh, nine supply that we have to subtract from Corrupt. And he didn't eat. So, this is a funny game. I haven't seen that many Kodos on one side in forever. Hungry, hungry Kodo. A player's forces are under attack. Still no tier 3. Yeah, Corrupt had no raiders, or definitely not enough raiders. So no control over, over the Kodos. Stay at 52,600 gold remaining. <laughs> Going into a Kodo war. With three Kodos on the red side, with four Kodos on the blue side. And no one is going to three. There is vision now, of course, on this army. As this grunt can see through the stomach. The other side, Razor Man doesn't know what's up. Oh, okay, he has a wolf there. So the key must be more raiders, right? I mean, you can't go wyvern because they will get wept or ensnared. A player's forces are under attack. Off we go. Gets an ensnare on the fire lord. Can he force something? He does have a TP. Goes for the hex. Can he transfer something? Speed scroll being used, but no, not working. And this choke should. Be better for corrupt, I think, as he doesn't have that many uh, melee units. Critical strike on the wolf side as well. And he's going for Kodos now. The end snares are helping him a lot, but those walkers, man, getting teared apart. Level four on the Shadow Hunter, and the Blade Master has a potion, so he can stay in there. He's a little unlucky with the critical strikes now. Ah, uh, head hunters. Okay, getting sniped as well. But yeah, this is a uh, Bad, bad position this was for a Razor Man. Gets a Raider back. Almost yeah, like 70% HP. Nice reaction by the Hungarian. And a little sloppy by Razor Man to fight this there. A town is under siege. New pack of heal selves. But no clarities at the moment. Only one. I think he needs a second one, but that's not possible anymore. Razor Man pushing forward. Getting mana back. Oh, the Blade Master is such a mighty weapon now with 150 crits. Where's the spell? We don't see him. He doesn't want to use them here. Now it's three Kodos versus two. And all of a sudden, it's enough damage. He snacks one unit after another. And level five, man. Level five. Chain Lightning is helping a bit, but he gets rid of that Lava Spawn. There's no Raider anymore. And the Speed Scroll, you know fastest uh, animal ever. But there's an expansion coming up. Corrupt knows he's in the driving seat right now and he endured this Kodo war. And he goes for it again. One crit and he's dead. Hex and... Ah! And Snare saves him. One Kodo has eaten 220 crit now. Farsi does not have a TP, but there's again no end snare. But give the Blade Master boots, and he just chase down everything if this raider is gone. Kodo has devoured again. Speed scrolls. Attack. So many speed scrolls in this game. We don't have hex here. 
He's walking into... This should not end well, right? For him. 40 supply only. Get rid of the raider. The critical strikes are just way too much at this point. Do this the breaker again. So no dispel anymore, as it seems. <laughs> Even the peons are helping against the kodos, but come on. The little pickaxes. They don't hurt them at all. And now it's time for the first hero. No TP, no potion. And this time Hex won't do too much. Nope. There we go. 188. And this is the life of the Farseer. Level 5 on the Shadow Hunter as well. As I said, late game potential is non-existent on Razor Man's side. And that is the 104 Corrupt. Who is one step closer and one map away from the main qualifier of GCS Western. Finally, that shop falls. <laughs> yeah, I do agree. And now it is uh, Razor Man's choice, map choice. I wonder what he's going for. Like, it's funny that we have seen three Orc Mirrors, and it was two Burro Rushes, and one Farseer Mass Kodo play. One thousand two hundred viewers, thank you very much for tuning in. And also thank you very much for Ina, who has subscribed, our host here in this matchup. Uh awesome dude by the way. Uh fear me please, thank you for the sub. Floss two times daily, he's right about that. Also subscribe. Uh Near Horizon for four months. This channel is wunderbar. Thank you. And Black Dis has has, has subscribed for three months as well. Thank you guys for the support so much. Is it September? So all the subscription um All the subscriptions are fifty percent off. At Twitch this month. Can you subscribe without Prime? Yes, of course! It's way more fun to just watch. <laughs> yeah, Creo, maybe we should get you as an analyst. Like, after the games, you talk like three to four sentences, what went wrong. Like, uh, Purge at TI. If you're watching that. So, game is up. I'm so hungry as well, man. I'm really jealous of your food. Hotel food must be awesome, I guess. Do we have a result from Anima vs. Great Wall? Is somebody watching that? Should be on High to Chaco stream, right? Okay, off we go. The Great Wall is winning. Wow. I didn't expect that. Anima, what's up with you? I mean, maybe lack of training. Whatever. Uh, okay. So, 1 0 for, uh, for Corrupt. He is up one map, and he is one map away from the main qualifiers. Okay. 
think colors are wrong. I can't read it later. So, yeah, corrupt is red. There we go. And Razor Man, still from Croatia, starting in the bottom left. This is Amazonia this time. And for once, I would like to see a Blade Master battle. But this day, this day is so crazy with so many weird tactics that we've seen that I don't actually know what to expect. Farseer again. He's actually doing it again. Plays with the Farseer. What does he want to accomplish with this? Does he want to tower push this time? I mean, that's the only reason, right? An immediate burrow rush, which is not the case here since we see a barracks. Or early tier 2 tower push. Apart from that, even if this map is smaller, this cannot work, right? Isn't Razorman literally playing, uh, always playing past here? I don't know so much about him. Okay, Farseer is out. And here are the wolves. Ooh, but Corrupt wants to be really aggressive. He's playing Farseer versus any race. Ah, okay. Yeah, nice. Thank you, I train human, for the insights and all the other things in chat. So, no experience, immediate harass, and he's killing the shop. And what's the Farseer without, like, clarities? He does have an okay mana regen, but just okay. He has to resummon all the time to not give the Blade Master experience or too much experience. So boom, shop down. It took him a while on Turtle Rock, but not on Amazonia anymore. A player's forces are under attack. Backstab. And Windwalk. How many Windwalks does he have? Okay, that's the last one. He wants the Rogue, of course, since the Mage is already gone. But very early tech. Not a one burrow tech, as siege. it seems. Oh, he's killing the shop again. Well done by Corrupt. This is just... I don't want to waste my time anymore! Leave me alone! And let, give me my ticket to the main qualifier. This is level 2. Cloak of Shadows can be really nice. And nice summon. So he resummoned the wolves over and over again, which is quite good. So zero experience on the Blade Master so far. But how long can he do this? More healing. He does have more, uh, more clarities. He... This looks like he will lose this grunt. He lost the grunt on Turtle Rock to creeps. And why not lose it to a Blade Master? Trying to body block doesn't work. That's a lot. Oh, he can't enter. Ah, he doesn't realize. <laughs> he has to leave now. Farseer's lightning balls. Too strong, but tech is halfway through. The other side. Oh, actually, kind of the same. This is the last attack from the Blade Master. And nice position on that ground. He's denying. That's 200 gold gone. Cancels the healing and the clarity. Forces another one. Forces another chunk of gold from this. So the early game, really nice for Corrupt, but he needs experience. This should be accomplishable with three grunts. A player's forces are under attack. He can't the shop. He delayed a lot. Level 2 fast here though. If he can get he even resummons the wolves against the Taskmaster, alright. Even if he can get level 2 wolves early on, does it kind of save him the game? Or help him in the early mid? They are more tanky. And he does resummon them really well. A player's forces are under attack. Close of attack though. So, Beast Tree Lodge and the SH plus an early Warmill again. 
on the other side double beast three. We have seen a cancelled beast three on Turtle Rock. This was a big advantage for Corrupt. And that's level three. Four watch awards. That's a lot of vision. And again, it's gonna be Spirit Link versus No Spirit Link. And this should be... I don't know if he should go Hex first or just heal away. If he has Hex first, it's again the Fire Lord push. I don't know if he can defend this. I mean, the Blade Master plus six, okay. But apart from that, I don't know. <laughs> it's again an early Kodo. Where are the peons? Are they coming? I don't think so. He's just pushing pushing this with mass summons. How far is he away from Walker training? So far away. He gets the shot again. Very reminiscent of game one. Grunt goes down on the other side. Should be a one for one trade, but those lava spawns are about to split, I guess. They're attacking so many Grunts here. Finally gets this one with the Shadow Hunter. Needs to attack more. Otherwise, this will inspi uh, expire. And I like that Corrupt is running away. So this one is gone. And the wolves as well. But he will be supply stuck. He is supply stuck. Again, and he will be supply stuck for longer. He's trying to cut reinforcements, but so far this doesn't work. Razor Man with a good push so far. Hex, so there's no Ensnare. Is there Ensnare? Last time it was super late. Only coming in now, so the Hex is once again wasted just like on TR. But it's four grunts! Against two Kodos. Again, the Blade Master has to rule them. He's going for a hero kill. That is the only thing or a town portal to buy time. But it's so much damage from those wolves, man. Crit at the same time. They're in sync. I'm not talking about the boy band. Nice end snare. Kind of a surround. He is escaping, though. Good speed scroll. But everything is low. And there's no shop anymore. He does have some heal selves. But will he be allowed to use them? I doubt it. And he's just overwhelmed. This push with mass raiders and the summons working good on AZ. He's trying to go for it. If he's lucky with the crit, this could be it. No, and snares there again. Well done, saving this fire lord as well. And those wolves are working way better against heroes than I thought. Dispel upgrade halfway through. Then he can get rid of the summons, but what about the end snares? Can't dispel them. And the fast level 3 on the fast here really did work well. Way better than expected. He can finally produce stuff again. It's really mass Kodos, the third one. He ate like one unit. He has no lumber at all, no barracks anymore. That means no grunts, of course. But there is Dispel, but there's actually no summons there anymore. He can summon them, then what? Speed scroll engage, eat something, get out. But where to go from there? Even the Blade Mass is too weak. Look at the damage. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. He is tearing him a new one on AZ. GG! And that is the Equalizer. We go full distance into map number three in this 10 minute game over and Razor Man is see the second one trick pony after Imperius with his Farseer Raider style looks like it definitely looks like it Would be in both trying Buddha Rush. <laughs> it 
There seems to be a crazy human mirror, so if you want to see that, go to Hide to Chaco. Is Zeus here? Really? Another 4K member? Giving me the honor? Oh, where did this come from? Yeah, right, Zeus and Fury. We missed them as well. Dude, it's getting later. Oh, Chaco hosted me, thank you very much. The Great Wall beat Anima 2 0? Holy shit. Holy shit. Big surprise! Big surprise. The Great Wall, usually a very good FFA player. But, uh, I didn't expect him to beat Anima. Not at all. So, that is the third human in the qualifier next week. Next to Effect and Hawk. And we will see who the uh, third Orc is. We have Cash, Orc Worker, and either Corrupt or Razor Man, who will now play on Echo Isles. The last game of today of this GCS qualifier. One more slot. One more game, one more chance. And off we go. The very unusual matchup of uh, Hungary versus Croatia. Very, very, very unusual to see Croatia representing in the European top, but today everything is possible here. I mean, we have basically seen it all except good undeads here, but we didn't see Scott, so I don't know. And Hate Love Anger didn't show up. Okay, no barracks. Or is it coming now? Not sure. L at least late barracks, but both are playing it the same way. Uh, is it double Farseer harass? Farseer number one. No, Blade Master again. Corrupt staying, tried and true to his Blade Master. And Razor Man playing it once again with a Farseer, like it's 15 years ago. Here's the late barracks. And Corrupt is playing this without it, right? Is this a super greedy one burrow tech? No, it's not. He's building the barracks now. Okay, so it's just late. Fast hero, harass, should work better for the Farseer. Since, you know, wolves. And then later creeping, maybe. Echo Alts is one of the best Blade Master maps, though, thanks to 10 claw spots and the marketplace. Another one burrow attack on neither side. And there we go. Heal selves, clarity. Why is he summoning them now already? Forces are under attack. Blade Master focus style, just going for the item and continue. Leave the trappers alone, most likely. Not worth it for the Ring of Protection. But he sees the Blade Master now, or the Farseer coming. So he heals up. This will take some time until he's back. But as long as the shop is up, this should be fine. No tech though. And he should be able to delay this tech. For quite a bit. Obviously, right clicks on the pass here. This is the number one solution. Actually starts this as soon as he can. Nice save. Nice resummon as well. So you don't want to give the Blade Master any kind of experience. And 
Yeah, as long as you're in range of the wolves, you can't trade well. They are too strong, even if it's just the level 1 ones. Here comes a grunt. So it's getting even worse for corrupt. At the moment it's not looking that bad for Razor Man. That would be another upset here. Effect beating. Oh, he's going for it with backstab. Another one. He does have speed scroll. And soon he has another wind walk. So this is either a TP or a dead Farsi, but he's not following him. This is weird. A player's force Check is a little faster. Two more wolves, or four more wolves, if you want to. Now he doesn't have critical strike, so Razor Man can calculate the Blade Master damage at this point. He's not pimped. There's no claw. There's no circlet. Farsi has zero experience, by the way. But Corrupt had to invest a lot of stuff into items from his shop. Heals up again. Could use another roll of healing selves. With the Farsi, of course, it's very easy to cancel those items. Early War Mill. As he's expecting a tower push again. Does he have a solution this time? Razor Man is supply stuck. Is this a macro mistake? He's building it now, so that's really not on purpose. I guess, I hope. And the summons are dominating this early game. Which I did not expect. If this is a claw, I think the game is a totally different one, but that's Warcraft. Aren't Jesus is with you or he's not? And this is enough noble damage now to tear this brutal launch down. He has to invest, he has 400 gold. I think it's summer sale time. He needs to buy something. Maybe it was all out of stock. But no clarity, no mana, and only two heal selves. More and more grunt streaming in. Here comes the lodge again. He keeps him so busy the entire time. It's so smart, actually. Don't let him creep, don't let him get map control, which is what the, what the Blade Master is known for. And why he's so dangerous. He doesn't give him much XP with the wolves as he's resummoning them over and over and over. And there's a Fire Lord again, against Shadowhunter, Beastery, Spirit Lodge. It's again not going for Headhunters, no towers in the back. Just the normal stuff. He's trying to go for the Hero Focus again, but I think the Fire Lord will shut him down with the Lava Spawn. And again, he killed the shop so early, so... This is absolute key in this matchup, this shop. Rebuilding them right in front doesn't work, there's no space in the back anymore. And there's no critical strike, so there's not the axe factor. And there's no items. Yeah, bye bye, Blade Master. BAM! This axe hit could mean the qualifier for Razor Man. What a surprise! Corrupt is losing another one. He's trying desperately to go for that hero kill with the hacks. <laughs> and the shout out here. That's nice. And this is. He, he has it in the back! And the shadow hunters. I mean, they're splitting. There's so many summons. There's no damage in Corrupt's army. And just have to wait. Blade Master is back, but still no shop. Please. Trying to get the shadow hunters somehow. Two of the lava spawns are gone. So. I don't know what he can do. He's struggling. His tournament life is at a threat. He's hanging on. Here comes the end snare. He has full control over the blade master. And that's it. He kills him for the second time. And the Croatian is taking this as it seems. Another grunt dad. And he didn't even need the level 3 Farseer. Level 1 was enough. Chain lightning rattling through. <laughs> Corrupt can't believe it. <laughs> this worked twice like a charm. Called for the GG. Razor man. Qualified for the Western GCS qualifier for the winter season. Croatia celebrates. 
Sweden celebrates and Russia celebrates after uh, four hours. And so we have our eight contestants for the Western qualifier of GCS Winter 2017. And those eight players are Hawk, Orc Worker, Foggy, and Sonic. They were invited before. Uh, Rudin cannot take part since he's still in China. And from the open qualifier, we have Cash, as expected, Effect from Sweden, and The Great Wall, and Razor Man. A new face, well, not actually not a new face, he played WCG many, many years ago, but in normal tournaments, we haven't seen him in forever. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. Three humans, uh, three orcs, two night elves, that's it. No undead, unfortunately, but all right. We will draw the pairings tomorrow after Jera Cup, and yeah, we will cast Jera Cup tomorrow, of course. I I think it starts at 2 p.m. Uh, let me check that on game.ru. Happy cup. Yeah, 2 p.m. tomorrow. Maybe I'm a little late because I have to vote. I don't really know how early I will get up. So, I had fun. Very, very unusual games today. With burrow rushes, with, uh, what else was there? Mass Kodos, with Dragonhawk Wars. <laughs> what meta game did we see today, man? European qualifiers, very, very unusual. And, yeah, a lot of Farseers. Um, and I cast it with Creo, I mean. Check from the bucket list. I'm sorry there were some technical difficulties today. Um, I 